This is the most ideal way to cook beans in my opinion. I soak these overnight and rinse them, soak them with more than enough water because they will expand. And I take a stamp size of kombu, which is a seaweed, and I soak it with it. You can see it right here. Um, and in the morning, I soak it overnight, six to eight hours is ideal. I strain it out and then I add more liquid enough to just cover it because it's pretty much done expanding. And I'm waiting for it to come to a boil right now. So now the beans are starting to boil a little bit and you can see there's like this white foam that's coming off and every bean has a different amount of foam. Some don't have any, but I like to just try to skim off as much as I can and this will help reduce any gassy results from eating beans. So I do that instead of putting the lid on to the pressure cooker right away. So just like skim it, throw the skim away or put it in the sink. And now I have the lid to the pressure cooker on and you can see the pressure is now up. And when that happens, I will turn the heat down low and this will cook for 45 minutes to one hour and I just got this pressure cooker not too long ago it's a presto I got it online it was I think it was like 35 or 40 dollars so it's a great investment and if you don't have a pressure cooker you can boil the beans and that is the same thing but you will have to cook it for about two to three hours depending on the bean so I prefer a pressure cooker, and for people that want to avoid the leptins, this is good, but I'm not really worried about that. So this will cook now for one hour. Now the pressure has come down, and the beans are ready. Beautiful. And I'm going to just strain the liquid out. Now if you're making a soup, you could keep the liquid, but I'm not going to. And from here, as if it's possible to remove the kombu, sometimes it really cooks down, but kombu is a very strong seaweed and you can end up having really strong cravings for sweet things if you eat too much of this, but I don't know, I might just leave it in. It's, it's kind of disintegrated at this point. And then from here you can just add vegetables, salt it, it could be very simple, make it into a soup, but I'm gonna show you eventually how you can cook beans and make make many different dishes with beans. It's really great soluble fiber to have.